Agree or disagree? You can't have a healthy relationship if one of the people in that relationship is consistently disrespectful to the other person. Today, we're talking about the five signs that your wife disrespects you. Disrespect is a huge problem. If it happens every once in a while, of course. Everybody, everybody is disrespectful at some point. We're all human. But if that is the pattern behavior in your marriage from your wife to you or from you to your wife, that's not healthy. It's, not to- uh, it's, it's toxic. I think that's the buzzword these days. And it's going to bite you in the butt. Before I get into the specific ones, if you're a man and you're married and you want more out of your marriage and your masculinity, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Today, we're talking about five signs that your wife disrespects you. So it's hard. Why is, why is this even a big deal? Shouldn't you know if your wife's disrespecting you? Yeah. You know, if we lived in a healthy, in a, in a society that cultivated healthy relationships and taught emotional intelligence, things like that. Yeah, it'd be obvious to know. But we don't live in that world. Plus, it's very hard to see things when you're inside it, right? What is the old saying? Uh, A fish never discovered water, right? So number five is that your wife is rude and dismissive to you. Of course, again, everybody is rude at some point. You know, everybody has that moment where they're kind of, they're off their game and they're rude. They snap at somebody, whatever. But these things that I'm talking about in this video are patterns. If this is the pattern, the prevailing pattern of how your wife interacts with you, you got a problem. And so uh, the first one, she's rude and dismissive, right? So this is, um, if she's This could be losing the day-to-day manners, right? If she's not saying please, if she's not saying thank you ever, that's a sign of disrespect. And that's that's kind of a low-level one. The next, if it gets bigger, it might look um, like insulting you, you know, calling you a name, um, making fun of the way that you do everything. And not not teasing, right? Because there's a fine line between teasing somebody, but we all know that it can go too far. So if the pattern is that it goes too far, it's because she doesn't respect you. Um, so it could be teasing you, making fun of you. And then it, when things get in public, the disrespect is even more, right? If she's making fun of you in public, like she might have gone from disrespect to contempt. That's a very big deal. If she emasculates you in public, if she tries to tear you down as a man in public, that's a big problem definitely doesn't respect you. So that's number five. What do you do about that? I got a video here for that about what to do. Have a look at that. It'll be again, I'll have a link at at the end of the video so you can finish watching this one first and then watch that one. So the second one is complaints that she, when she complains, she's always complaining about you or whenever she's like talking to you, if the majority of your conversation of when you interact is her complaining, that means she doesn't respect you. If she's complaining about you all the time, it means she doesn't respect you. Now, the uncomfortable truth here is that you're not a victim. Is that if your wife treats you this way, then in some ways, you've trained her to treat you that way. You've accepted it. There's a quote by some famous guy, is that you get what you tolerate. You get what you tolerate. So if your wife is disrespectful to you, it's because you've tolerated it for so long. And if she's constantly nitpicking, right, if you can't do anything right, like if you can't wash the dishes correctly, if you can't do the laundry correctly, if you can't sweep the floor correctly, that's because she doesn't respect you. Of course, there's a, there's a best way to wash the dishes, right? Now, if you're... If the dishes are not clean when you're done, then yeah, you're not washing the dishes right. But if, if, if things are not correct, unless they're done her way, that's a sign of disrespect. It's a sign of disrespect. 
Or it could be a sign of, I guess, control issues with her. But that's a whole nother topic. Whole nother topic. Okay, number three. Number three is about other men and how she interacts with other men. If she's openly and consistently flirting with other men, point blank, that's disrespectful. If she's doing it in front of you, that's even more disrespect. Now, is there any room to ever flirt with a person from the opposite sex? Uh, yeah, probably. I mean, I think a very little bit. I think this is playing with fire. But I think it's, it's one of those balancing acts. But if the, if the pattern is to seek that kind of behavior out, if your wife is seeking that kind of behavior out, and then she's doing it in front of you, disrespectful. Disrespectful. And the big one here is, and this is bigger than disrespect, this has gone from disrespect to actively sabotaging the marriage, and that is if she has any secrets that have to do with other men, she disrespects you. And borderline, like, the marriage is going in the wrong places. And I would even say if she has any secrets, period. You know? Now, there's a difference between privacy. You know, she writes in a journal... You don't have the right to go look at it and read it. But that's different than secrets, right? Secrets is kind of like a loaded word, right? It's like, oh, something somebody's not supposed to know about. Not something that somebody doesn't know about. Somebody's not supposed to know about. That's what a secret is. And so if she has a secret, like if she's going out with a, a co-worker, if she's, you know, for lunch and she's not telling you about it, or if she's going for drinks, you know, with the coworkers and it's really just one coworker, the same guy she went out with drinks last two weeks, but she's not telling you about this, that's disrespect. And that's, that could actively be branch swinging, right? If she disrespects you so much, if she respects you so little that she's actively looking around for men who she respects, then... That's a very big red flag. It's a danger. Danger. And if she's talking about other men to you, like, you know, look at him, look what he did, look what he did. Of course, we all notice these things. And of course, we all talk to our spouse about these things. But the difference is in the dose. Is this, you know, the, is this 20% of the way she talks to you, 10%? Or is it 80? Is it 90? That's the difference. Is it the pattern? Or is it the exception? Is it the rule or the exception? Okay, and number four is, you are going to love this one. If, it's, if she has a my way or the highway attitude, that's a sign that she doesn't respect you. Look, I run a, a group. You, you can see this in a group of international men. There's like 4,000 guys in there almost. And you can see it at marriedmancave.com, themarriedmancave.com, themarriedmancave.com. And I pull the group every once in a while, and I, pull, I ask this question, does your wife ever admit when she's wrong? And, um, you know, most people say, and the, the choices are usually, yeah, no problem, yes, reluctantly, or never. And about 25 to 35% of the men always say, she, she can never be wrong. She can never be wrong. And that is, a, that is a big red flag. That is a red flag in terms of respect for you. Because part of um, being married well is understanding that you're a fallible, hu fallible human being. That you make mistakes like everybody else. And so part of being married well is being able to admit that to yourself and then to the other person. And if your wife can consistently not do that, that's a major red flag. It's a major red flag. And I know a lot of people try to like rationalize this as like, oh, it's like this, that, or the other, or, you know, she's this, that, or the other, but no, it's a red flag. It's a red flag. It's a red flag for her, and frankly, it's a red flag for you. And because what happens is guys end up going like, mm, yes, dear, right? The wife is always right. And that is a, I don't, I haven't squared how it's possible to be a good masculine man and accept 
the wife is always right. I don't know how those two things coexist. Now, if you think there is a way that they coexist, by all means, please leave a comment in the description and let me know. I've got an open mind about this. I'm willing to be wrong about this. Okay, so if she's, she can't compromise with you, if she can't admit that she's wrong, if she can't admit that she makes mistakes and then take ownership of those mistakes and then iterate new behavior, sign that she doesn't respect you. And the last one, and I know because I talk to guys every day in the group and in my coaching practice that this is the biggest pain point for men in marriage. And I'm sure you already know what it is. And that is a lack of sex. That's a lack of sex. The, here, here's the way it goes. Men who are in marriages where they're not getting the kind of sex that they want. And assuming, assuming it's not some deviant version of sex, right? Like if you want sex five times a day and that's the only thing that can satisfy you, you might have a sex problem. You might. And that's a lot of sex. Every once in a while, five times a day, sure, why not? But as a habit, if that's like, yeah, you know, day in, day out, five times a day, that's probably too much, man. I mean, I'm no sex therapist, but my gut feelings tell me that's probably too much. But most guys aren't like that, right? There's always a bell curve, and that's the end of the bell curve. But most guys are in the middle here. And so if you're, you know, if you're consistently not getting the sex that you want, and frankly deserve, because that's part of the marital contract, then that means your wife doesn't respect you. She doesn't respect you enough as a man to fulfill that part of the marriage. And yes, it is that part of the marriage. Now, what happens is that in the culture we live in, we want to shame the guys when they say, hey, I'm never getting the sex that they want. And then it turns into what? Like, oh, that's, you're only interested in one thing. You only want me for my body or, or whatever. And that, don't, just don't ever accept that kind of talk. Don't ever accept that kind of talk because it's nonsense. It's nonsense. You're a human being. You're a sexual creature. And part of the unspoken marital contract is that you exchanged mutual uh, sexual exclusivity for sexual access. You guys both agreed that to each other. You know, I don't know if you were conscious about it, but that's what marriage means. It means you're only going to have sex with this, with your wife and she with you. And the exchange for that is that you get to have sex with her and she with you. And when one of those stops happening consistently as a pattern, that contract's been broken. That contract's been broken. So look, I did five signs that your wife disrespects you. I'm sure there are more signs that your wife disrespects you. So if you got one that I think I just glaringly missed, please put it in the comments below. Um, if you got any questions, ask here. Um, or also, if you want to go to themarriedmancave.com, we can, you can find me over there. Lots of, it's, a, it's a good group. Lots of people talking, sharing uh, their points of view, their, their experience, asking their questions. And if you're a man and you're married and you want to get better at it, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Until next time, bye now.